play football. It's a big arena, I've got to say that. It's a little bit strange. Well, they've got. Well, they'll do that anyway, but this atmosphere will lift them. I think it's a full victory they had over Liverpool on, uh, on Tuesday. Some magic performances in that win. And there were players there in the box. Palistri finished it off, but it could have been any one of them. And, uh, the MCG, the smoke drifting across, the floodlights flashing in, starting up front for Eric Ten Hag's side. In terms of bench, 230 appearances for Manchester United. It's proper throwback with the collar. Can't wait to see somebody channel. Brilliant Chris Beef. And Manchester United get us underway. Forward by Delo. Looks for an early ball forward. That's uh, well intercepted. To the penalty area, finds Fernandez. Back to McTominay. Lifts one into the box off the back of Booth. Here's an opportunity. This is Ben Falami. He's going to put it into the middle. Chance here, and it's the opening goal. And it's Melbourne Victory who take the lead. Chris Economides who lashes it home. And Manchester United caught out with a rapid counter attack. They trail by a goal to nil. Well, and that'll definitely be one of the things that he will want to improve on. And plenty of time to do it. But a very, very quick counter attack from you know, on his day. There's no better left back. Dink ball by Fred into the penalty area. Henny for place down well in that right back berth. Obviously offers. Shaw collects it in front of his new manager. Again, Brillante is going to stand this one up towards the back post. Underneath it gets Harry Maguire. Very, very visual 5 3 2. Lovely ball into the penalty area. Heads Army comes out to Jay Barnett. Puts the ball into the penalty area and a header that just skims off the forehead between the Portuguese teammates. Drops that one to Jaden Sanchez. one with a mug wants to see from his side week in week out there'll be a lot of technical stuff going on in the battery cole got very very excited at, uh, at half time talking about that one and you can understand sancho's charging at the penalty area down the right hand side to fernandez fernandez to mctominay with the strike and it's wide and that's come off a defender it's going to be a corner but that's brilliant from manchester united they have to do is when you are playing against a team and if united want to be a team that side Luke Shaw tries to get a glancing head on it. It's going to be collected by... You know, clips this one into the penalty area. He had the same facial expression at 1-0 down today that he did. Sancho. Infield to Fred. Post brought down by Delo. Delo shifts it. Moves it to Scott McTominay with the strike. That he's got that in his uh, in his locker. Started his youth career as a force. It's all sorts from football, as it is today, to Aussie rules. Fernandez lifts up his head and looks for a way through comes back Martial does well battles for that brilliantly Anthony Martial into the penalty area he's done fantastically well close <laughs> oh dearie me Bruno Fernandes that was a, a picture I was say. <laughs> <laughs> a ball into the penalty area saved by Delo and uh, he takes the takes the shot off. a bit of time to think about what comes next that's uh, it's produced the best chance of the half Delo swings across in, chance here potentially for Sancho, left footed effort is deflected away goal for Melbourne to pick up actually and he's, he's doing well when he drops a bit deeper Fred with the attempt from distance slips as he goes into it, wide of the mark into the penalty area, headed away by Luke Shaw, Langer to Shaw back it comes to Anthony Alanga and now down the left hand side Manchester United trying to cause some problems, Alanga goes down under a necessity that's it from it. United and Fred's in a good position here. Looks the playable. I know that we're only the second game into pre-season, but towards back post header comes in. And Anthony Martial will to Jaden Sancho gets up well, retrieves it well, gets the shot in two. Where's that going? Oh Scott McTominay <laughs> with a deflected effort. Well, if you don't buy a ticket, you can't win the lottery. He absolutely has that time. It's the equaliser for Manchester United. And what a time to score. Three minutes before the break, United won, Melbourne won. Yeah, he was the first to pounce on his own pass that was intercepted. And he's already had a couple of attempts. It's probably the lesson to take away from that one. Lovely so much. And again, it's the low down the right-hand side. He's going to dig the cross out. Ted towards Anthony Martial. And they have taken advantage of the momentum. Manchester United turn around a one-goal deficit. They're going to go in at the break, leading against Melbourne. And it's Anthony Martial who gets just rewards for an excellent first-half performance. United 2, Melbourne victory 1. Yeah, and you always felt that if a goal was coming, it was going to come down that right-hand side. Manchester
Manchester United going at the break, leading by two goals to one. People form Tahith Chung out one side, Ahmad out the other side. This is uh, Melbourne victory to get us started then in the second half and the goals. We've made the run, he fraps offside and the ball out wide. Uh, the, he's not. Our hand, um, he's not. That Fernandez was he's on not. the tour. Away goes to Chong. So we'll go with it. Let a long range ball forward is cut out by one that's coming through on that convey about the likes of Charlie Savage, the likes of Ethan Laird, who's for, uh, for Melbourne victory. This is Marcus Rashford, pulls it back. Iqbal to lovely piece of skill from Zidane. Iqbal gets the cross into Rashford arriving. A pair of them have had in the game time that they've had so far, they've had a lot of touches and they've, they've bought some fresh energy instructions they're using these as as they should in pre-season as, as seen it in this game as of yet apart from that one in back it comes to Eric Bay van der Beek putting some pressure on oh we're having too much of a nice time we're going to get told off if we carry on like this this is I would have hated to play against somebody like Ethan Laird that is just such a willing runner Come with him and Donny van der Beek goes out to the edge of the penalty area still on here to Heath John can he pull it across does so but it, a fine last ditch tackle little midfield but oh what a ball that is he's got to be offside hasn't he Donny van der Beek gets he can and again here look at the press coming from Marcus Rashford and to Heath Chong I'm out of turning up you've got 50-50 then haven't you to turn the ball over in midfield and that that's wanted it through the channel this has got a bit more zip about it back it comes to Zidane Iqbal carries the players in the blue shirts, must be feeling it. Still got 10 players left. That was an unnecessary dig, and I'm sorry. Ish. Ooh. SD United have got a 2 on 3 to deal with. Out it comes to the left. Barely takes any more than 1 2 3 touches. It's simple, it keeps the ball moving, and it's effective. Maisie run forward, finds Marcus Rashford to Rashford with the strike. Where's that going? Back of the net, of course. There was no doubt, and it's Eric Bailly, the provider again. Marcus Rashford with some fantastic work on the edge of the penalty area. And the finish, cool and calm as you like, United lead 3-1. Superb, it really is. We've just been, you know, had a couple of moments where we've spoken about things that Eric Bailly needs to tidy up. Well, here again, and he's been... Take away from these pre-season games. Lovely run from Zahid Chung. Going to get it across goal, and it's been turned home. From inside the penalty area, it's an own goal. One cross into the box, and you can see the danger that comes. Getting to the byline, pulling it back. And Manchester United have got their fourth. Yeah. I only said it a few moments ago that if Tahit Chong can just do something that little bit different, i.e. go on the outside of his... An enemy has been slain.